What's up guys, welcome to this video. Today's video is about the whip and pan transition I've uploaded a preview about. But before we're jumping to Luma Fusion, I just want to make sure everybody who watches this video subscribe to my channel and give thumbs up and activates the bell so you don't missing any video in future. So, but right now, up into Luma Fusion. We are in Luma Fusion now and we've got two videos on the timeline. We want to make a transition in between. The first step is to cut the transition area. Means we need to shorten the first and the second clip so we can adjust the transition right perfect. What we are going to do is to cut a about 13 frames long. Yeah, it's perfect clip of the first clip and about 11 frames of the second clip right so exactly like this then tap, double tap to edit go to frame and fit the first step is to set the size to about 120 so like this Let's give it a bit more, 121. Then go to the last frame, add a keyframe with the plus button on the left bottom corner and set position X to about minus 20. So like this. Then move on four frames, add a keyframe and set it to plus 20. Then move on another two frames and set it to zero. So we got this whip pan movement. So we are moving to the one side of the frame and then to the other. Okay. Let's go to the next clip. Now add a keyframe at the first frame like this and set position X to 20. Like this. Then move on four frames, add a keyframe and set position X to minus 20. And then move on another three frames like this, add a keyframe and set position X to about no, exactly to zero, like this. So now we've got a whip pen. Looks okay, but to make it a bit special, we have to add a motion blur. So we are going to color and FX and blur and add motion 20. Now we are going to the end, adding a keyframe with radius 45 and angle zero. Now we are moving back four frames and setting the radius to about 15, uh, let's say 14. We're moving on one more frame, adding a keyframe and setting radius to 50. Then we are moving on another two frames, adding a keyframe and setting radius to zero. Now the same with the second clip, adding motion blur motion 20, first frame, add a keyframe and add about 60 motion blur, like this. Then we are moving on four frames, setting radius to about 23, moving on one frame, setting radius to about 50, then another two frames and zero. Angle again, zero degrees. And that's it. Now we're having a nice whip pan transition with motion blur. To make it look a more, bit more special, I'm adding one of my LUTs. So like this. It's already applied here. Okay, and that's it. Very simple transition easy to repeat. I've made 
three more types of this transition which you can download in my transition bundle on Salfi. I'm going to update this uh, transition bundle with all transition presets I will create over the next couple years. So if you're going to buy it now, it's very cheap, just one dollar, but it's getting more expensive the more transition it contains. So buy it now and you get free updates the whole lifetime. Okay guys, this was the video about the whip pan transition. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we'll see each other next time guys. Bye.